Somebody call the law, somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. Imagine, they got a foot long cookie at Subway. I saw that shit this morning. I thought that was wild as fuck. I never seen that shit. That's gonna be fucked cookie. up. They shit gonna be fucked up. You eat all that, your stomach gonna sound like two Timberlands in the dryer. <laughs> and eat a Subway sandwich, drink some milk. Like, <laughs> Dead ass, nigga. You so stupid. Sound like two Timberlands in the dryer. Two Timberlands in the dryer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That's a it's it's probably cool for like um <laughs> if you going out and getting your family some subway and y'all just get that big ass cookie to split it up with the kids and shit like that but right we don't eat subway. but you know it's gonna be some fat motherfucker that buy the cookie oh, and uh, then definitely a, a Jerry like yo but Charlene don't like subway I didn't work there like seven subways in my life across the eastern seaboard <laughs> I don't know I I'm had a sandwich artist I was oh. one year I ate a lot of subway and now I don't eat subway anymore. I don't think I like it. It was. I mean, I, I like it. Charlene, she don't like it because first of all, she don't eat tuna no way. But she heard the the, the tuna ain't tuna is like them sea urchin and and dolphin meat, <laughs> dolphin fin inside the tuna. Then the bread is made out of them shit you make the yoga mats out of. She say, but bro, I worked this other way a lot in my life, and I know that when you make the bread, it come out as a breadstick. It look like a breadstick, my nigga. It's subway. You throw it in so just little damn mach- um you lay it on the on the thing, you bake the bread, but mm-hmm. you gotta let it sit for like six hours and that shit just turn into the loaf by itself. It thaws out into a big jelly loaf, right? Then you throw, then it, in you the throw oven. it in the oven and bake it. So sometimes they be messed up because when you let it thaw out, you might bump into it and leave a mark into it, so they get baked into that mark. But it look nasty. You, mm. When you like, oh shit, me get these. You get them out. They look like Jello, and you finna put them. And they cold, like they warm room temperature. But they didn't puffed up from a drumstick, like a literal to a damn foot long. Wow. Yeah, man, I was a struggling artist when I was like twenty years old working at the subway. Boy, can you you ever think back and remember how long ago that was? Twenty years ago. It was so long ago. When I was twenty years ago, was twenty man. I was working this subway in Benton Harbor, Michigan, and I still remember that. We got came up there. Mm -hmm. I think you still had some of that turkey. I had some turkey, (laughs) but damn right, (laughs) no bullshit, man. Because like yo, I I, I worked around all that food. It's like I'm gonna take me a loaf of this damn turkey. And my homeboy who worked there with me, he came over there like, yo, Carolina, man, let me get something to drink out the fridge. I was like, go ahead. He looked at that. He said, I know this nigga ain't got no turkey. <laughs> <laughs> and he know where it come from. You know what it is. He's like, oh, I know you God. ain't. I think you damn right. <laughs> damn right. Oh, you man. Know, mom and daddy struggle. take care of me. You was a struggling artist out there. It's all boy, me. This is a dangerous group that groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time, but I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there. <laughs>